Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender 2.8 tutorial. Today we are going to be starting a new series on creating low poly nature assets in Blender. In this first video, we are going to be making this tree you see here, which is slightly more complicated than the pine tree we previously made. In the other part of the series, we will be making things like bushes, some other kinds of trees, grass and other such things you might find in a natural environment, so stay tuned for those as well. So let's just get started. So we have our scene here in Blender and when you open up Blender you'll notice it does not look like this at all. So to get to this stage what we do is, so I'll just start a new scene and then we can start from, from the beginning. So here we'll have our cube and our camera and a light so we'll just, we don't really need any of these, we'll just delete them. And so we're just going to start by adding a plane. Now with this plane we will need to delete three of the vertices, like this. Just pressing X to delete it and click vertices. Now we're going to go to the modifier section and we're going to add a skin modifier. Now you'll notice that this becomes a cube. And then we'll also need to add a subdivision surface modifier. Now we're going to press 1 to go into side view. We're going to press tab to go into edit mode and then we're just going to press Z and click wireframe to go into wireframe mode and we're going to select this point over here and we're just going to press E to extrude that up and this is going to be the trunk of our tree and we're going to extrude it this way and then extrude it this way and we're just going to make some Y's like this And now we're just going to add another Y. I'm just pressing E to extrude these. So it doesn't look very natural right now, so let's just even these out. I'm just pressing G to move them around. So the idea with making trees is just to get them to look nice and natural, kind of random. If you're making a lot of trees, you want to make them all different. So with, with trees, all the branches sort of face upwards, so you want to remember that. And they might be different length sometimes, so make sure to keep it nice and varied. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now you notice that this tree doesn't look very natural because all of the, the entire tree is the same thickness. So what we'll do is we'll just change that. So we're going to press Control A and that's going to scale it. So we'll make the, the bottom of the trunk slightly thicker and then we'll select all the edges of the branches by holding shift and clicking and we'll press control A and that's just going to scale all those right down and we're going to select all the intersections and then press control A and scale those down again and maybe just over here on the branch scale that down a little bit too. I think these are scaled a bit too much, so let's just scale that back up slightly. So now we've got a tree, it doesn't look very natural yet, so we just need to do a few more things. Go back into wireframe and click Control R, and we're just going to add a point here and then press Shift V to slide it down. That's going to create a more trunk looking shape. And now we've got very straight branches, and we don't really want that because it doesn't look very natural at all. So we're going to press Control R and we're going to get these points and we're going to move them around slightly to add some bends in the tree. Just pressing Control R over each one, it's going to add a point and we can just move it around. And just pressing G to move it. So now our tree is looking nice and natural, we can maybe add one more over here. Cool, so there's our there's the branches of our tree and the trunk. Now we just need some leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Shift A in object mode and we're just going to click Icosphere and make sure that it has two subdivisions. So now we're going to take this, scale it up slightly and we're just going to duplicate this by pressing Shift D and make three of these. We're going to select all of them by holding Shift and then we're just going to click Tab while all these are selected and it's going to go into edit mode for all three of them even though they're different objects 
and then we're going to go over here to mesh and we're going to transform and randomize now we'll just slide this up a little bit so that they look kind of random and now these are going to be our leaves so what we're going to do we're just going to join all of these by pressing Control J while having them all selected and now I'm just going to go and move this by pressing G and I'm just going to select these by pressing L one of them and click shift D and just duplicate them and add them all over the tree and varying the sizes by pressing S because we need our tree to look nice and random rotating them if we're using the same one over and over again and I'm just going to the side mode pressing L to select one and G to move it down to the right place So you can either have quite a few big leaves or like circle things, spheres, and you or you can have just a few big ones, a few big ones and a few small ones or something like that. You can just vary it however you want. You could have lots of small ones. Each will kind of have a different look. If you're making a game, you could probably um, have a different species of trees just by doing that. And we also want to make sure that every branch is covered by one of these leaves. Otherwise our tree will look a little bit dead. So there we have it. Basically done. And we also want to be able to see all these Y's over here. It needs to look natural like these leaves are actually growing from this branch. So there we have it. Now our tree has no color in it, so we need to add some color, some texture. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this section over here. And we're going to click new and we're going to name this material tree. Now we're going to go over here and open a new window. Just going to hold our mouse over here and we're going to right click and say split area and then just click and we're going to go to the image editor click new make this three pixels click ok we'll save that wherever we want to but we'll do that in a sec we're going to press n over here to get the image tools and we're going to have to switch this to switch this to the paint mode over here now we're going to go to our paintbrush tools or we click N to get this menu over here scale that to 1 and strength 1 and we're going to get a nice green color we're just going to do that so here we have our, the color for our leaves and then we're going to go to over here get a nice brown color and that will be the color of our trunk so now that we have that, we need to save it. We'll click image over here, save as, and then save it wherever you want. And I'm just gonna press N to close that. Now we're going to go to the UV editor section. And now we're going to click tab to open this. Click A to select all. And that's going to unwrap this. We're gonna press U, unwrap. It'll unwrap it like that. Now we're just going to scroll across here and click this button over here and click our texture. Zoom in, press A to select all and then S0 to scale it to zero. I'm just going to put it over the green section over here. Then we're going to click, we can actually join these at the stage. I'm just going to press Control J to join the leaves to the tree. Blender seems to have stopped working. So 
So I'm not sure what just happened over here, but that's quite interesting. Now the blender stopped again. I'm just going to save this before it deletes itself. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm just going to close this file and open it again. So we'll go here, press U, unwrap, move it over here. Now this one needs to be applied. So we'll first apply these and now we've just got our mesh. So now we can actually join this to this. Uh, we press Control J to join them. And I'm just gonna select this and select A to select it over here and then move it over the brown section. And now we can just go to our material over here, go to base color, image texture, and then open our texture over here. And there you have it, we have our tree. So the lighting settings I use, some people have asked, basically what I do is I just go get a sun. I'll move it like that. Then I will increase the brightness slightly. Then I'll go to the world settings over here, make this white, decrease the strength a little bit. Now you can see that the tree is slightly glossy and we don't really want that. It's a low poly model, so we'll go back to the materials over here and we'll make it roughness fully rough over here and we'll also go to the settings over here and turn on ambient occlusion and we might turn that off a bit and there you have it so this is our tree I hope you liked it Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and there will be more coming soon so stay tuned for those.